the differences between uh, WEC and Formula One. Of course, it's much more team orientated. Uh, WEC with the drivers, work with your teammates, get the car set up in, in, in your direction is, uh, is, is much more uh, on the table and, and, and a must. Formula One is much more individual. Of course, uh, the, the car is for yourself. You've got to be more cutthroat, more uh, demanding on the resources, uh, the people around you. And uh, here, it's uh, a little bit more uh, as I say, team orientated, of course, share the car and, and do what you can to, to get the maximum out of the whole car. And communication is very important with your teammates. I loved my Formula One career. I was there for a while, but um, the opportunity to race for Porsche uh, in sports cars was some of the big highlights of my career as well and the most enjoyable part. Now we going to Formula Racing with Formula E is, uh, is, is a new challenge for us, but it's going to be a tough championship. We're under no illusion. It's going to be a very, very tough fight with the other manufacturers. The synergies for Porsche are that, uh, of course, we have the Mission E-Car concept coming. Uh, we already have tremendous learnings from, uh, from the 919 on, on how to you know, recover energy, how to use energy. The cooling side of the battery technology has been very interesting for us. Is Formula E motorsport? Absolutely, no question about it. You have top drivers, probably the, the best field outside uh, Formula One in terms of driving standards. It's only going to get more and more competitive. The next, uh, next from, from this year uh, to 2022, 23, this is going to be a red hot championship. Brand ambassador for Porsche, yes, it's a great experience. Uh, what's been my best one? No, that's difficult, very difficult. I think uh, driving the new cars at the Nordschleife is very special, of course, GT3 RS, GT2 RS, and uh, some of the motor shows. Of course, we have great uh, you know, global motor shows where it's very exciting to show the people the new cars for the first time. Well, Brendan is one of the shooting stars, obviously, of the, of the championship here in WEC. He's won Le Mans, he's won the, the World Championship with Porsche, and now he has a chance also to race in Formula One. So uh, it's, a, it's an awesome opportunity for him in Toro Rosso. You know, hopefully in time that he gets the experience and he can show what he's capable of doing. He's ripe, he's ripe for the picking to go and uh, to do this job. Biggest challenge in my life, wow. Uh, yeah, I mean, I had some close close uh, scrapes when I was racing, so I had some pretty nasty crashes. So this is challenging to come back from a, on a professional front. Uh, personally, I've been in, in, uh, in great hands. I've had great people around me from, from, the, from the top of the show, really, all the way through, the same people. And now is actually the next test is probably one of the biggest challenges is there's no more racing, so I have to find the new challenges. So this is the, the real fight. And, uh, but again, I have good people around me and I'm looking forward to this next chapter of my life.